worked. I'm in and you're awake and free. Whew. Okay, I'm Oracle and we are gonna get you off this ship. Look for a doorway out. Alright. Hello YouTube. This is Delta Frost with Delta Temporis in the world of DC Universe Online. This is gonna be the start of my road to level 30. Pretty much me going through the entire the hero storyline to get to level 30 and be inducted into the Justice League of America. Let's get started. So currently we are being held in a Brainiac Harvester ship and they we've got to get ourselves out. So the ship knows you're free. Watch out. pretty much they'll be sending guards after you. Pretty much the story, if you don't know, is... Get ready. My readings show forces gathering beyond that door. So the main premise of the story is Brainiac has returned. He's going to sabotage everything we've ever loved. Pretty much all sorts of digitized power and stuff like that. Um, pretty much they'll be attacking us and stealing knowledge before destroying the world up. Well, destroying our planet. So they've got a lot of time to... They got the, got a lot of time set up, so we got enough time here to pretty much get out of here, be a gigantic hero, and prepare for mapping. So now we got our mini boss here. This is a Brainiac Overseer. Overseers will and can charge into you and ground you. Grounding means you cannot fly, and pretty much your movement power, your movement power that you chose. Creating a character will be useless against an overseer, which means you can't fly and get the unfair advantage. So what I like, what I like to do is try to get as much damage as I can, dodge. Well, not really dodge, but you can dodge. But I rather like, um, yeah. I rather Let's block get instead of dodge. Range. Look for a transport tube that crisscross the ship. Use that to keep moving. Um, there is a wait. What? We're going in here now? Okay. Uh, they've completely changed it since the last time I played this game. Alright, so we've earned a power point. Power points allow you to choose whatever... Well, choose um, powers from each of the trees. Well, you can actually choose from both trees. So, from this one, I am going to use Tachyon Burst. I will be f using a specific loadout that I'll be getting from DC Universe Online blogguides.com. The subject has left the main corridors. Search the vessel. Whatever, Brainiac. So I'll be using a specific loadout to help me out. Um, pretty much, I'll be doing this alone. There'll be pre-level 30, pre-level 30 stuff that I'll be doing, like alerts and that. Controlling these halls. The entire ship is connected to Brainiac. You have to keep moving. So what I'll be doing is uh, um, there'll be pre-30, level 30 alerts. I'll be doing that with fellow members from Games of YouTube. Really great community. I suggest you join up and be part of the family that helps each other grow our channels. And we don't use the, we don't do tough stuff or anything like that. So it's good if you wanna, you know, if you want ways to help your channel become as good as it wants to be, as you can. Well. It can and should be, because every channel deserves to be as good as it can be. So right now, I'll be so if you're wondering, I'm not going to be using any of the gear I get from these guys. I'll be waiting until I get out of the Brainiac Harvester ship to be able to use my gear that I'll be getting from this. Surprisingly, it runs really well. Um, I'm surprised. Now we got like a whole group of them after me, ambushing from all sides, not being too big. Uh, for those that are wondering, I'll explain the details um, of what I'm planning to do with my with Delta Temporis. He'll be using first of all one-handed, and then he'll switch to dual wield, so I can use the, one of the masteries. If I if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get the other mastery that is included with one-handed. Um, so, yeah, those, um, giant silver crates, you want to pick them up. Um, they usually contain, um, stuff you can sell or some goodies that you, that might help you on your journey towards beating Brainiac and that kind of thing. 
units move into position. Contain the human. Now this room here is very infamous because you can stay in here for as long as you want and um pretty much just gain your skill points that way. Um this way because skill points are obtained by leveling up by and by getting a certain amount of feats. It's just like that. I I go inside this um whatever this thing is. Uh, it's like a whirlwind of sorts. And it blows me up, which um, it sends me going flying going up and I can't move. But if you get wait. ready, the ship is sending more security your way. But you yeah, send the um if you press the shift button, you can do something called a breakout. Breakouts um, free you from any control effects that you may be afflicted with. And um, pretty much you can you just sometimes earn power if you focus on um, the, the tree of your select movements. For example, one is acrobatics. Anyways, before I go through this hallway, because there's going to be a cutscene and I want you to hear it. Because it's going to be pretty big and pretty like, uh, how do I say it, how do I say it, it's going to be pretty important to this specific area. Before I say that, um, also I'm going to be sticking with, uh, the current power I'm using is um, Quantum, Quantum is really good for DPS, I'll be being a DPS for the entire game. I do not plan on switching to a control which is the sub, um, the sub role. you got four different roles, you got DPS which all classes well, not all class, but all powers can use. Um, then you've got control, um, a tank, and healer. That'll be important for later. For now, let's see what this entails. Oh, uh oh, these energy readings. Brainiac has a full invasion force stored on this ship. We have to destroy it. So, not only are we going to save ourselves and free and be free of this torture in this side of the ship. We are now going to destroy this ship to avoid um, this invasion force from making its way um, into making its way to the ground to destroy us. Now here's the important bit. Um, you have engaging enemy. When, when in combat you're always gonna be stuck in some form of rock, paper, scissors um you're gonna be stuck doing rock, paper, scissors kind of thing. Where, um, with radiant lunges, you want to block it. Uh, when they do that, you want to lunge. Pretty much, if you block, you can block to avoid lunges. You can lunge to avoid channelers, and you can channel to avoid blockers. That's pretty much um. The gist of the rock, paper, scissors in this game. Pretty what I'm doing now is a block breaker. Um, block break is always like what um, break um, people that break, break enemies that block, and you can um, that can be knocked down. So I always do this. Um, this blocker, easy enough, and we get a skill point. Skill points can go towards um, weapons or um, your movement. Um, but until you get up, unless you're up to the level nine, you cannot focus on movement. So for any skill points you get pre-level nine, will be focused on and will be spent on your weapon, giving it extra abilities and brainiac, brainiac, brainiac. No, as I was saying, um, if you focus your skill points on weapons and um, all units move into position. Oh god. The human. He speaks too much. Anyways, as I was saying, with um, your weapons, you can spend skill points on it. You can spend skill, spend skill points on multiple. Doesn't mean you need multiple weapons. You only need one weapon, and that'll be your primary weapon. All other skill trees will, all other weapon trees will be focusing on probably either, either mastery or extra stats. The more stats you have, the more um, the more skill points you have, the more stats you have, because you'll be focusing on the stats ship's as well. Main gun is up ahead. Destroy it, and the ship's external defense network will go down. Then the lead can get in and get you out of there. So what I'll do is um, I'll, I'll I will try and um 
What I'll do is before I do the next part of the road to level 30, which is pretty much the entire thing with Faust, because I am now I, I am mentored by Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, love it a bit. She is such an amazing character. And I'd rather talk about her than talk about, say, Batman and Superman, because people have so much hope about them. And I want to be the old one out due to the coming Batman vs Superman movie, so... I'd rather talk about um, Wonder Woman, because she's underrated. Now this is our boss for this level, the Brainiac cuts the ship. This is the Ship Guardian. Right now we can't do anything to him, but he'll get pissed off if we destroy these power couplings. So I always go on this, just spam the launch, everyone around me will get destroyed, and boom. So now we have the boss fight, so what I'd rather do is I'd rather go like that, press tab to um, have him targeted, so every time you attack you'll be moving towards him, so it makes it easier, what I'd rather do, he's what I do. Even though he does that, I can still get at him. Um, this energy pulse is nothing, so I'm going to be at it, attacking him. See, 240, it is quite significant, but think about it, we are strong enough. So, I'm going to keep on fighting, and he should go down. Now, this next part is not, you don't, you're not required to fight, because Superman will be doing the work. I'm going to hide. Right here. Human, you have doomed yourself. I think. You will go okay, down I'm going back down. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. So there's ready. Superman. He'll be helping us fight. And you know what? I'll actually fight We're just to show you what what um what happens in this specific and and dungeon solo thing. Now, if you remember the Brainiac, if you remember that Brainiac, the Ship Guardian, um, transforming those teleporters. Now, you'll have to, um, till you use those teleporters to send waves upon waves of Brainiac, um, enforcements, reinforcements upon you to try and to take you down and send you back to wherever you came from, which is inside that containment chamber thing that you're put in. Now, Superman is way too strong for these guys, so we, Superman's like level 30. Um, we're like level, I don't know, level, we're level, three, we're level 3 at the moment, we'll be level 4 very soon, mark my words. Yep, once he says saying that, um, he'll stop, um, he'll hard, he'll, um, when he takes his next bit, they'll stop sending reinforcements. Now, we just fought the remaining forces, and then uh, Superman, when he's finished, will move over here. I think somewhere around here. There we go. Now we just talk to him. Nice work. Brainiac wasn't counting on you breaking free and disabling his ship. Now use the teleporter and get yourself back to the city. We've got work to do. So we've exited via the teleporter. Yes, it's done. Superman will finish here. Use the teleporters to escape. Go. You don't really need to take your time. You can spend the rest of your time looking at this for the last time, because you'll never see it again. This is the inside of the Brainiac Caster ship. Once we go forward here, it will trigger a cutscene um, that will only appear. The one will show up in this area. You can play replay the game when you go to your feet section, your deed section here, versus um, I think it's headlines, so I think it's headlines, so let's watch the cutscene, I'll be quiet. We were overwhelmed by his attacks. 
but only the gods can make or destroy worlds. And Brainiac is no god. From a single man's courage, we have an army of heroes to stand against Brainiac. Together, we shall fight tyranny. From Brainiac, or any other false god. Wonder Woman, I know that we all have our destiny. And for these heroes, it is the call to greatness. <laughs> 